Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Florian Schäfer and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own Panda Power Network step by step by yourself using the Panda Power API. For this we're going to have a look on our website pandapower.org, click on getting started, scroll down a little bit and see the example we're going to go through today. The example consists of three buses. One of them is a 20 kV bus, two of them are 400 volt buses which are connected by a line and the 20 kV in the 400 bus is connected by a transformer of course and to the 20 kV bus there is an external grid connected which is basically the select bus and at bus number three there is a load connected. So how, to, uh, how do we implement this? First we're going to start our editor and import Panda Power as always but this time we're going to create an empty network instead of importing the network suite which is done by the command create empty network and if we want, we can print it and we can check what's inside it, nothing. So we have an empty network now, which is a little bit boring. So this is why we're gonna create some buses, which is done by create the create bus function, which has where you have to specify the voltage level and you can specify a name for each bus. So we're gonna do that three times. We want a 400 volt bus, which is called bus two and we're gonna do it a third time for bus number three. So now we have a network which has three buses in them which you can print if you want. So if you do now print net bus you see all of the buses in the pandas table. This is still kind of useless because you cannot run a power flow and there are no elements connected to the buses. So what we want to do is we want to create the uh, external grid as well as the load. The external grid is created with the command create external grid or X grid. And we have to specify here the bus where we want to connect it to. And we can, but we don't have to specify the set point, the voltage set point in magnet in per unit. And also a name, which is here grid connection. To create the load, we call create load, where you have to specify as well the bus where you want to connect the load to. And here you should or you must specify the power of the load and the reactive power as well. But this is optional, it's set to zero as default value. And you can specify the name of the load as well. So now we have the network with the elements and the buses. What is missing is the transformer and the line. So we have to create the branch elements, which are, uh, are done with similar commands. But as you can see in the example, the bus, uh, the transformer and the line have a, a standard type attached. You, you can specify uh, if you want, you can specify the parameters yourself, which is done by functions like PP create transformer from parameters, but Panda Power comes with a lot of standard types already included, which can be printed, for example, with Panda Power dot available standard types, and then you specify the elements where you want to see the standard types for, in that case, the transformer. And here we're going to use this standard type, which is then created with the create function for the transformer. You specify the high voltage bus, which is bus one in this example, the low voltage bus here, bus number two. And here we specify the string or we enter the string of the standard type. Then we give it a name, let's call it Trafo. And we do the same for the lines. So we have to find the standard type, which we want to use. And this example, it's this one here, I think. No, it's this one. So we're gonna use this standard type to create the line when you specify the from bus as well, you specify the two bus of the line and the length. So this one is 100 meter and the standard type is this one and you give it a name. Let's call it line. Okay, now if we print the net again, we can see that it has now all the tables in them. The bus, the load, the external grid, the line and the transformer, but we don't have results. So we want to do a Panda Power run PP and print the results again. And then we have the results for each element 
in the result table. Okay, you can use other functions as well. There are a lot of elements included in Panda Power. If we have a look at the website again, uh, they're shown in the doc documentation under elements at the left side. Uh, I can't find it, but it's somewhere here. Here, data structure and elements. There are all the elements you, you can create for the network. And another tip is if you're on the website and click on getting started and scroll down a little bit, the, here are many tutorials to create a networks. For example, here a little bit more advanced one, which are implemented as Jupyter Notebooks. So it's also a step-by-step -step guide how to get or how to learn how to use the API. So I hope that helps a little bit and I thank you very much for watching and wish you a good day.